Hey guys, Crypto Sunday, and it's strangely a green week. Um, the tracking's a little bit off on this app. Uh, it's about 1,000, maybe a little more up on the week, um, which, considering we have a war started, uh, was a bit strange, to be honest. So Russia have started their invasion of Ukraine, which I thought wasn't going to happen, uh, but it has. And this seems to be sort of causing... Caused a huge drop midweek um, in Bitcoin and all the other cryptos even more so. Um, but almost immediately sort of rebounded. Uh, same with sort of the tech stocks. So unusual, but uh, this seems to be sort of on the basis that uh, the sort of interest rates and tapering and everything by the US and probably the rest of the world uh, will ease off. Um, they'll sort of uh, be less inclined to do that because of uh, because of the war. Um, I'm really not sure that is going to be the case. Um, they would have to let inflation sort of be running rampant while not doing anything, and just not sure how much it really affects uh, the whole world. Obviously, terrible for uh, people in Ukraine, but yeah, I'm not sure it really affects sort of America whether they should be holding off. Uh, much of their plans because of this um, but if they do then could be a bit of positive for the crypto market so we are looking at sort of macro news really rather than crypto news at the moment uh, so sort of on paper they are still carrying on um, although there's an interesting uh, read article on uh, seeking alpha um, just sort of going through their tapering but if you go down and sort of have a look at the actual figures uh, they were doing 120 billion a month of quantitative easing between sort of mortgage-backed securities and uh, US treasuries um, and so December they did 104 billion and um, January they actually did 109 billion so it went up um, and then February they've got to 82 billion, but they're supposed to be sort of essentially finishing in March. So, I don't know, maybe March they could get down to 40 billion and then sort of nothing from there on. Uh, but yeah, so it's saying they did 16 billion in the last week. Uh, so just can't see this getting down to zero at the end of March. So that would be... Sort of if that carries on, that'll be seen as sort of easy, easy policy, which is sort of good for the tech stocks and probably for crypto. Um, and then sort of on the rate hike side, there's just such a uh, diverse opinion around. Some people are saying they'll have to sort of not do a huge amount. Some people are calling for three hikes. Some people are calling for six, some nine hikes I've seen which would be uh, 0.25% at every meeting for the rest of the year, which I just think is fantasy, to be honest. Um, last time they sort of tried it, they got three or four in a year and three next year, and then the whole sort of world blew up, uh, remembering that was sort of six months before the pandemic started. So had some issues in the repo market as well, which... Uh, this is sort of going under the radar a little bit that uh, the Federal Reserve are participating quite heavily in the repo market. So since September last year, um, they've increased their uh, repo agreements reserve by $616 billion. So I presume this is sort of providing liquidity that the banks don't want to provide each other so this is the sort of short term you know from what i understand uh wells fargo wants to borrow bank wants to borrow sort of a fair bit of money for a few days from bank of america just because they need to sort something out and then they'll give it back uh with a sort of fairly small interest rate um and sort of yeah september october time in 2019 that sort of blew up a little bit and where it's supposed to be 
you know, half a percent interest rates or something, 1% maybe, uh, that sort of spike to like 8%. Um, so, yeah, if we get any issues with that again, if Fed is having to sort of step in, then could be causing issues. And uh, if they are sort of tapering their QE down to nothing and raising rates really aggressively, as people are suggesting, then, yeah, could be could be causing some issues, so... If they start walking back on that this year, then could see a uh, bullish move for crypto. So, interesting times. Um, you know, and it's just bugged out. Seeing a few bugs with um, this Delta app. Um, not sure I want to go straight back to uh, Blockfolio but, or FTX. But, yeah. So, Bitcoin sort of up slightly on the week. Yeah, there we go. 3% on the week. Ethereum up 6%. Um, now, I am considering... I've sort of been wanting to add to uh, Internet Computer and Audius sort of for a little while now and sort of haven't really had the opportunity. I don't have a huge amount of cash. I've got maybe £500 to put in. Um, but I was thinking of diversifying maybe sort of selling one ethereum maybe uh, and sort of splitting that between sort of internet computer audius and probably some more solana uh sort of run out of uh, my liquid solana that is pretty much all into nfts now uh doing quite well i would think at sort of current value i'm at about 85 to 90 solana uh where Sort of obviously I've deposited 77, so it's going quite well. Would like to sort of carry on buying if I can, the NFTs. So, yeah, may split the... Uh, I'm just trying to decide whether to sell Ethereum. Maybe sort of could sell 0.1 Bitcoin and sort of split that between it. Not really sort of losing a huge amount. Uh, or I've been sort of looking at some of the other smaller tokens um boba network maybe that was an airdrop from omg so no real ties for that uh quan stamp is still sort of up nearly a hundred percent on the month but yeah i'm at sort of not a huge amount over uh break even for that yeah 160 pound but yeah just uh thinking maybe diversify a little bit from ethereum still sort of obviously a lot happening on there but still uh, really high gas fees and people sort of annoyed with it uh sort of waiting for the proof of stake switch ethereum 2 um so yeah maybe sort of thinking 5000 in solana 28000 in ethereum maybe sort of isn't the right the right balance really and audius has sort of been really hit uh, quite harder than the others recently would like to add to that and internet computer as well so yeah as far as uh, the rest of the portfolio goes sort of a bit of a mixed bag really some up some down power ledgers held up a little bit better uh, xrp has sort of been doing well over the last month or two so that's slightly down. Um, Quanstamp, a couple of percent. Band protocol, not uh, not doing too well. Um, yeah, so I need to tidy up the bottom of here. I know, uh, but yeah, that's the that's portfolio for the week. Certainly, leave your leave your thoughts in the comments on sort of what your suggestion would be for maybe uh, trimming one of these top ones and uh, adding to Solana, Internet Computer and Audius, trying to decide which one to go. But yeah, so leave your thoughts in the comments below and like and subscribe. See you soon.